What is the best video editing software right now for 2017 for both PC and Mac to take your video editing to the next level? I'm going to talk about that in this video, so make sure to stay tuned, and I would say let's get started. <laughs> What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video and in this extra video I'm gonna talk about the best video editing software that you can use. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by the free programs that you can use and we're gonna move up to the low budget software and then the high end software. So so for free software on Mac we will have iMovie and on PC on Windows we have Windows Movie Maker. Now I don't want to say that they're good but you they will definitely get the job done and you don't need that really really expensive software in order to start making off videos start off your channel you can just do that with iMovie or Movie Maker that is no problem at all so let's say if you want to have a little bit more of an advanced program you can start off with some low budget software okay so what I can recommend is Adobe Premiere Elements that is around $60 that you can pick that up it is a very limited program so it's not like the full version of Premiere Pro but this will get you started in no time and obviously you will have the same kind of version for Vegas Pro so let's say that you don't want to spend $600 on Vegas Pro 15 but you want to start off with a low budget software what you can do is you can start off with Magic's Vegas Movie Studio 14 that is around a hundred dollars and that's a little bit more cheaper as well and that's how you can get started so moving on to the high-end software which is going to be Vegas Pro 15 which is $599 and we also have Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro is like a subscription to like 25 bucks a month so you can also choose to do that. So the other software that we have on Mac is Final Cut Pro. So that software is basically very very advanced. So the application Final Cut Pro X for Mac is a thousand dollars. So obviously if you don't have the money to spend that what you can do is you can just use iMovie that works the exact same way and it's just a su such an awesome program that you can use and it's completely for free. It is pre-installed on your Mac anytime anywhere so you can use it straight away. Now what I can also recommend is let's say that you want to use it for you YouTube, what you can do is you can also buy a bundle so that means that you can buy Premiere Pro and Photoshop as well so if, let's say that you want to make your thumbnails in Photoshop because paint is just such a low-end program so let's say that you want to have Photoshop as well in your bundle you can get like Premiere Pro for like $60 and if you want to have Photoshop included you can pick it up for like $80 so what Adobe has they have a lot of subscriptions for example $9.99 a month $49.99 a month and you can also just use an nice subscription so you can pay each month to use the full program okay so so moving on to some questions that I received from everybody that is watching my videos and that is Alex what is the best program is it Vegas Pro 15 is it Adobe Premiere Pro is it After Effects is it Final Cut well guys it is just completely up to you what program you want to use it is just totally perfect personal preferences the best experience you have if you have like a connection with Vegas Pro you can just use Vegas Pro and do watch my tutorials for example but if you have a connection with Premiere Pro or After Effects that I don't have you can just use that how can I edit the fastest with which program and that's totally up to you and what I use currently for editing is Vegas Pro 15 the full version $599 you can pick it up in the link in the description if you guys want to but that is basically what I use so that is basically how I edit my videos and obviously for uh, thumbnails I use Photoshop but in order to start editing you need to know how it works well I have a really awesome playlist from Premiere Pro tutorials to Vegas Pro tutorials to Photoshop tutorials to even After Effects tutorials and Illustrator so if you guys want to go ahead and start learn editing make sure to go ahead and check out the playlist on my channel you can find a tons of videos on there and that will get you started right away okay guys so now that I answered most of your questions what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna include the best tutorials that you guys need to see from Vegas Pro to After Effects I'm gonna show you guys just little snippets so that's it for this video I want to thank you for watching thank you for the continuous support i'll catch you guys obviously tomorrow in a brand new video as well two videos actually so that's it that's all i have for you guys today and i will see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video what's up guys my name is alex welcome back to a brand new photo show <sighs>
What's happening guys, my name is Alex, and I know it is Saturday, usually I would upload a video uh, a, uh, evolving into a better YouTuber episode on Saturday, but I just wanted to share to this video with you guys, and in this video, I'm going to make a tutorial about how to make the GTA 5 wasted effect, so let's say that you made a blooper in your video, and you want to give like a funny twist on it, you can add in like the GTA 5 effect on it, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now, so I would say, let's don't waste any time here, and let's get started, so as you guys can see, I have a blooper looper right here i wanted to say welcome to a new vegas tutorial but i said photoshop like this i'll show you guys right now let me turn on the audio there we go this is what i but this is what the blooper is what's up guys my name is alex welcome back to a brand new photoshop <sighs> And with this clip, I'm going to show you guys how to make the GTA 5 wasted effect. So first of all, I want to give a big shout out uh, to this guy that provided this effect with the green screen and everything. I'll leave the link of this channel in the description so you guys can check out his channel and subscribe to him because he is such an awesome guy for providing this. So make sure to go ahead and check that out in the description. So what this guy did, he, he just made a link uh, available for download. Uh, on YouTube, actually, I found this effect, so you don't need to make the wasted effect and the sound effect. He just applied everything in one video, so make sure to check out his channel. So I'm going to just drag, I just downloaded that video, first of all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that guy into Vegas. So this is what it looks like and sounds like. So that looks really awesome. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to just add a, a green screen uh, to this. So what we're going to do, first of all, is I'm going to just edit uh, this one and I'm just going to add um, the GTA 5 effect over it. So I'm going to create a new video track, as you can see, insert video track, and let's just play back the video over it and let's just time it and let's remove also the green screen. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So I would say let's do this. So let's edit this part real quick. What's up guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Photoshop. <sighs> So that's basically the timing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make this disappear and we're going to add in the color key. So we're going to go over to video effects. You want to pick chroma key, which is this one chroma key. We're going to add in the default on top of the GTA 5 effect. What we're going to do is we're going to click on this little blue bar. Then we're going to click on then we click on this pencil and then we're going to pick the green. As you can see, it disappears. But as you can see, the clip is way too short. As you can see, it already cuts away. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this slow motion. And what we're going to do to do that is I'm just going to just cut it. And right here when the effect starts, I'm going to press S and I'm going to just hold control. And I'm going to just stand on the outside of the clip, which says time stretch. And I'm going to just stretch it all the way until there. So it is actually um, slow motion. So what we're going to do also is we're going to add in a black and white effect on top of the last part. So this is how it looks like, what it looks like. What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop. <sighs> As you can see, so this is how awesome it looks, guys. So that's how to create the GTA 5 wasted effect. Let's play it one more time. I think this, I think this one looks really cool. What's up, guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Photoshop. <sighs> that looks freaking amazing, guys. Look at it. What's up guys, my name is Alex and welcome to a new Cinema Vegas tutorial. In this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to add how to add like some really cool epic film effects. So let's say you want to have, you have like a, like, a, like a clip and you want to spice it up with some like nice filters and everything around it. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now in this video. Also guys, thank you guys so much for 20,000 subscribers. It's freaking amazing guys. This is a dream coming true. That's all I'm saying about that. So I thank you guys so much for the bottom of my heart, you know, for like for the continued support and you know, all the likes and the views. It's freaking amazing. We're going towards 400,000 views a month it is crazy guys so in this video i'm going to show you guys that you know some like some nice epic film effects you can apply to your video so i would say let's move straight into the actual video all right guys so what i did is i downloaded a um like stock footage free um beach clip from youtube and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to make this one look like 
like a nice like i'm not going to make a video again like like how to create like a hollywood film look i'm not going to do that i am going to show you guys some nice effects i stumbled upon actually so what i'm going to do now is when you well you just when, when you have everything in your in sony vegas with like your clip etc i'm going to go to video effects and when i noticed something is when i go to the app it says like film effects so i thought okay let's make a tutorial out of this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the first one, which is I'm going to pick like this one. So we are going to recreate a kind of old like film look. So let's see how it's going to look when we're going to pick this one. And let's put this one on top of it and let's see how it looks right now. Let's pick this one and let's see how it looks right now. And I play back the video. So as you can see, it adds some like how you can say that it's like texture to it like a little bit if you take a look at it guys so if i apply the effects to this it's going to look from this to this and as you can see it's like it adds some kind of texture ish kind of thing and that's like a like a really old kind of you know um like film effect right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go down on the preset list Let's see what we have. And this is like a really, like how, like how you can say this, guys? Like an old movie, like shot in like, like 1940 or like 1940, 1950, as you can see. And it just goes from this, as you can see right there, from like a normal HD to 20th century um, beach clip to this, to like a really old kind of clips-ish kind of thing. So that's freaking amazing, guys. This is how you recreate like really old kind of movie scenes. My name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new Sony Vegas tutorial. And in this video, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to create an awesome intro. Now, I can already hear you guys like, Alex, what do you mean with an awesome intro? Because there are like a million ways to create an intro. But I'm going to show you guys a really simple one with like an explosion, your name and some music kicking in. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now in this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below already. And I would say, let's get started. Okay. Okay, so as you can see we are on Vegas 14 as always and the first thing that you guys need to do is you want to download a few things I'm going to show you guys what you guys need to download so basically I'm going to open up this folder this is what you're going to need and you're going to disregard the thumbnail but the thing you need is an explosion with on a green screen uh, a song with a, like a nice a copyright free song with like a nice drop for example NCS and a sound effect explosion so what we're going to do is we're going to make her name zoom in and when my you know my my name is fully zoomed as you can see it, it appears a little bit too uh too early so i'm going to drag this one to the right and let's match it boom two hours later so i timed it a little bit and this is basically how how, how good it looks let's see boom but what you also can do is you can cut a little bit away, away uh like to like shorten the explosion until you see until you see like this one boom so let's just go ahead and match those two when it's zoomed in boom the explosion is there the next thing that we're going to do is you can also make a little bit bigger guys i want to mention that you're going to go over to this track motion icon on the track of your explosion and you just we're going to make go ahead and start dragging this a little bit bigger right here that's how you make a cool intro and obviously i know there are so many different ways to create other cool intros i know that's it for this sony vegas tutorial guys well just for this vegas 14 tutorial thank you guys for liking thank you guys for subscribing thank you guys for watching that was freaking amazing so i will see you guys on friday just alex halford